Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey right, guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from Founders Brewery. This is their Backwoods Bastard. This is an ale aged in oak bourbon barrels. I'll be honest with you guys, uh, I bought a four pack of this this one here and a four pack of the Founders uh, Wet uh, Harvest Ale, the, uh, the Wet Ale. I think it was uh, Harvest Ale is what it was called. So, And uh, the reason I did that, they, was, they come highly recommended from the, the, the guys up there at uh, Vin and Cellar. And I went ahead and got a four pack because just about everything I've had from Founders has been most excellent. So uh, took the chance, and it wasn't a very big chance, not a big risk with Founders. It's a pretty safe bet. And on the Harvest Ale, it was it was out of the it was out of the ballpark. It's a ten beer, and this particular one here is exactly the same. Uh, it's awesome. So without me uh, letting the cat too much further out of the bag, uh, let's read what this is about. This is from Founders. This is their Backwoods Bastard. It is, they're from out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. It is a Scotch Ale slash Wee Heavy. Up till now, I've not been impressed with the Scotch Ale slash Wee Heavy beers. They just didn't do anything for me. I didn't care for the taste. I'm not a big Scotch fan. That's probably the reason why. But I just, I just never found one that I liked. With that being said, uh, this comes in at 10.20%, so pretty stout as far as AB, ABV is on this one. The, uh, the beer is a fall serving. They do this, I guess, once a year. Uh, I remember seeing it last year, but that doesn't mean it wasn't available. Uh, I was just getting getting going into the beer review thing then and uh, had the refrigerators full of stuff I hadn't had already. So we'll, uh, we'll see if it you know shows up yearly, and if it does... Uh, we might re-review it because it is so good. I'd be interested to see how much it changes from year to year. And I would, wouldn't mind picking up some more of it. I, I can't remember what I paid for a four-pack of this. Uh, I'd have to look on the ticket and see what, it, see what it was. But I'm thinking this particular one here. I don't think the Harvest Hill was quite that expensive. But I think this one was a little pricier because it's a 10% 10 beer, 10.20%. And plus it's aged in the bourbon barrels. I mean... That's time, and time is money in the beer business. And you got a beer that's sitting around in, in bourbon barrels, you got to pay for that space and storage space, and it adds cost to the beer. It's the bottom line. That's why those beers are more expensive. The food pairings for this the cheeses, the butter, buttery, the brie, the gouda, Havarti, Swiss, and the meat is smoked meat and salmon. The glassware, the pint, the stein, the mug, oversized wine, the snifter. I got the Duval glass, guys. That's what I like to use for these bigger beers. The uh, beer can be selling for extended periods, being a 10.20%, so that's what I would like to do. I've got another one in the fridge, and I'm not really sure I'm going to drink it yet until I go back to Vintage Cellar. Uh, once I go back up after I've got some more, I might pick up a, another, at least another one or another four-pack of this to put away. It's that good. And if not, I may just go ahead and save that last one I've got till next year and see what it tastes like next year. So. Uh, I think that's everything that I need to tell you, so let's bust a cap on this puppy and see what it's about. That up ain't worth a crap either. <clears throat> let's pour it down the center. I don't think we're going to generate a monster head on this beer. I don't remember producing one from the one that I had. It's got an oil. Oh, sort of looks, me, looks like me on that bottle. What do you think? Here, guys? That beer pours a deep ruby color. I can see light through it, but it is not perfectly clear. I can see the bulk through it, but it's, it is a deep red ruby color. Between a ruby and a brown. A brownish ruby color. Looks very good in the glass. Of course, it didn't pour hardly any head at all, and in what was there it has dissipated. And as you move it around, you can see the bubbles coming back up from the, from where it was at. Very nice looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on this one. The first thing that I get right off the bat is the bourbon. 
I mean, it's like, it's like smelling a glass of bourbon. That's what it smells like to me. And usually when it's that potent, I'm not a big fan of it because I don't drink bourbon. Bourbon, I don't like the, I don't like the, the, the burning and the heavy. I like the smell of bourbon, but the, the, the taste is just so over, it's overbearing, over, it's overpowering my palate, so. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting the bourbon. I'm getting a little bit of vanilla horse is coming out of the barrels. And I'm also getting a little bit of cherries. I mean like a chocolate covered cherry is in there. Uh, if there's anything else here I need to tell you before we take a drink, it smells delicious. And this is a big beer. This is a sipper. It's not a gulper. This is not Coors Light. You want to, you want to sip on this easy. This is not something you want to drink in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This is probably a 30 minute beer or more. Cheers, guys. Well, that taste is unbelievable. Coconut, vanilla, chocolate, bourbon, roasted malt. It's unbelievable. It is absolutely the best Scotch Ale Wheat Heavy Beer I have ever tasted, by far, bar none. Unless it changes drastically between now and the end of this beer, it's going to be at the top of the list, guys. It may be, a, it may be above, it may be a 10 plus beer. Uh, it's that impressive. It is very complex. So many flavors, so many tastes, so many aromas. The aftertaste is so pleasant. This is this is an extremely good beer. I'm gonna ramble on and make this a 12 minute video if I'm not careful. I had to chop a, a chop about 15 minutes out of one other uh, day before yesterday, yesterday or the day before, because uh, I just kept rambling on. I'm not gonna do it on this one. So guys, stick around. I'll be right back. This is damn sure a winner. It's gonna be a 10, if not a 10 plus. Stick around. All right, guys, I think we're sticking around. I've been sipping on this probably about 45 minutes. Uh, this is this is the best. This is the absolute best Scotch Wee Heavy beer that I've ever had. It may be... It is, it is probably on my top five list of the best beers that I've ever had. It is that impressive. Guys, final chug on this one. I checked the prices on this while I was sipping on this, and the price on the uh, Harvest Ale was very reasonable. Uh, and the price on this one was just a tad more than that. Anytime that you're getting something that's been aged in bourbon barrels and it's a 10% beer or, or bigger, you're going to pay more for that, you know. And, and I'm not trying to explain away the cost on, on this stuff, but it takes time and space and, and, and more grain and, and more ingredients is, is money. So, I mean, all that adds to the cost of beer. It's not like Budweiser and they chuck a bunch of rice and, and, uh, and corn in there and say, hey, this is beer. It's horse piss. It's garbage. Uh... I can't compete with this, not on any day. Uh, guys, uh, it's a 10 plus. 10 is my high scale, this is a 10 plus. If it was an 11, it would be there. It's that good, it's that impressive. So like I said, it's the best wee heavy scotch beer that I've ever had. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, Rake Beer has this at 99 overall and 100 in the style, so they were damn impressed with it also. And Beer Abbey comes up with an A minus, so eh. got the date on the bottle. It's killer. It's an excellent beer. I don't know exactly how long it was kept in the uh, the bourbon barrels, but uh, you definitely get that through it. So it wasn't there long enough to pick up that. So guys, if you see this, pick it up, especially if you like the uh, the bourbon taste in your beer, your your bourbon barrel aged beers. It's, it's impressive. I can't stress this enough. If you like that style of beer, you will love this one.
it is killer. That being said, rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope this one didn't run longer than 10 minutes because I'll have to do some massive editing. So, see y'all tomorrow. Let's go look in the grids. Save you then.